The loan book grew by pretty strong 21 percent on a YY basis. About 80 percent of the loan book expansion in the quarter was driven by the corporate segment, uh, which saw a loan growth of 14 percent on sequential basis. Uh, the retail portfolio grew by 25 percent YOY, representing a fifth consecutive quarter of growth deceleration uh, in that particular segment. The key retail products that witnessed growth moderation were CVC loans, two wheeler loans, gold loans, uh, loan against shares, and business banking. Overall deposit growth was uh, modest in comparison to the loan growth uh, and consequently the CD ratio improved significantly on a, a sequential basis. The CASA ratio declined uh, marginally on daily average basis. NIMS performance was better than expected with uh, margins improving by 10 bips on sequential basis to 4.6 percent uh, against our expectations of 5 bips decline. Uh, both uh, uh, blended lending yield as well as cost of deposits came off by 10 bips uh, on Q and Q basis. Uh, essentially implying that the margin improvement was driven by the higher CD ratio. A uh, fee income exhibited weakness uh, with growth being modest 13 percent YOY. The treasury income was higher driven by significant bond gains uh, and so was the forex income uh, which was driven by the higher currency volatility. The higher treasury as well as forex drove an improvement in the cost income ratio. Uh, slippage is surprised slightly on the negative side uh, with uh, gross NPLs increasing by 3.8 billion on sequential basis. It is one of the highest increase in absolute terms seen in the recent quarters. In the retail segment, delinquencies were uh, largely contributed by the CVC portfolio, while it was granular in the corporate segment. With the bank providing as per regulatory requirements on the fresh NPLs in the corporate segment, the PCI declined by uh, 5 percentage points to 75 percent in the quarter. Consequently, the net NPLs jumped by 47 percent on sequential basis. So, we basically cut our 9 month target price on the stock to, 5, 7, to 744 adjusting the earnings and the book value estimates lower as we take more conservative loan growth as well as uh, provisioning assumptions. But we think that the bank's superior growth profile and profitability profile would stand in good stead uh, if the macro challenges were to persist. So, the HDFC bank should be able to uh, sustain uh, its valuation premium over the other banks.